Ready, and action. Come back and do that last bit. Hey everybody, it's Charlie. Happy Comic-Con week. We got a whole bunch of Flash stuff to talk about. Episode 1, we know the title, we know what's going down, and everybody's been asking why Barry is wearing his Season 1 costume. What's going on here? Because he's fighting this Flash villain with his daughter, Nora Allen, who we see in her full, very excess-looking costume. So I'll explain why her Flash symbol looks a little bit different than the one in the comics. Like, there's a reason why their Flash symbols look the way they do. Like, they look cool, but they're also functional. So I'll explain what's going on with this Flash Season 1 suit. But if you're finding me for the first time, it's Comic-Con week. Be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. There's a new round of that Flash Ring giveaway. All you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber and leave a comment on the video. So big surprise, the title of Episode 1 is Nora. The title of Episode 2 is Blocked. So episode one is all about finishing that conversation, explaining what Nora was about to tell everyone inside the house at the end of the finale. Wow, this house is bitching. Huh? Uh, who are you? I'm your daughter, Nora, from the future. And I think I made a big, big mistake. I think I made a big, big mistake. And then obviously she told them what the big mistake was. They'll be showing that to us in episode one. Remember, TV is a show, not tell medium. They need to visually give that to us, which is also related to this Flash season one suit. So people are like, why would Barry have the old suit if he just got the new suit during season four? Well, what probably happened is, is this is similar to what Nora did during the course of season four. Have we met? No, no, I'm no. a complete and total stranger. Alan always pays. Oh my God. No worries. During the finale, she teams up with Barry to take down the satellite, implying that Barry was not going to be strong enough to take that down. I don't think that he would have died if Nora was born. Otherwise, there would have been this big paradoxical loop where she came back to save herself so that she could be born. And that's not really what her mistake is about. It's a bit broader than that. It's about the idea of her messing with the past and trying to avoid some future outcome. But obviously, she can't do it by herself, and that's why she's come to get Barry's help. So there is a certain level of Nora point going on. We're going to see a version of that during episode one. This Flash season one suit with Barry fighting this villain here, he looks like he's wearing Murmur's mask from the comics, but the Murmur that we saw on the TV show was a little bit different. So this might be a different character that just looks like comic book Murmur. At some point in the past, Nora probably came back to watch Barry take down villains, and this just happens to be a moment in time that she came to visit. So as we're experiencing it, it's a moment from season one, even though it's a new scene that they're shooting for the season five premiere. It's like new history that we didn't see in between the other season one adventures. So it's not like Barry suddenly destroyed his season four suit or Nora has some crazy ability where she can rewind time. I know people had questions about that after the finale. They'll explain exactly what her abilities are in the first episode. The only real differences in Nora's speedster abilities and Barry's speedster abilities are the color of her lightning. The TV show takes a lot of liberties with the color of speedster's lightning. Usually there's a more fundamental reason why their lightning is different colors. The TV show does it just so it's easy to tell them apart when they're flying at each other on screen. They've kind of gotten away from color as an indicator of actual top speed after season two. The reason why they did the purple lightning for Iris was really just to set up this Nora twist so that she had the two different colors of lightning. So if you're wondering about lightning color and speed, they've kind of moved away from that. Maybe they'll get back to it in later seasons when we have more speedster villains, if we have more speedster villains. Aside from that, her abilities aren't that different from Barry's. Like, she learned everything she knows from her friends in the future because Team Flash members are still alive in the future. Some of them are probably dead. Some of them are probably villains like Killer Frost. That's probably why she didn't like her or Harrison Wells. The only minor differences that I'm expecting to see is that she just has a different idea of how to use her abilities. That's usually where you get into different speedster abilities because the speed force is sort of like this giant pool of energy that they all pull from. Different abilities are usually just a function of the way that they come up with creative uses of that energy. Like when Barry vibrates his body faster than the human eye can see so it seems like he's invisible, or when they legit phase through stuff or throw lightning. Impossible. Monster. 
I am the impossible. But just imagine that at some point in the future, Nora figured out how to use her abilities to time travel, and then, because of all the crap that's going down in the future, she wanted to come back to the past, one, to see her father when he was still alive and do all these awesome things that people talked about. You have to imagine that there are legends of the Flash in the future, so she came back to see that, but also try to fix what was wrong with the future, so you have to imagine she's already tried something, she made a big mistake, that's when she shows up on Barry's doorstep. So so she's already tried to change something in the past and created her own version of Nora Point. I've made things worse. Holy crap. She's already kind of explained her Flash costume a little bit. Obviously, they wanted her to wear that so that you would think that, oh, wow, this is Iris's daughter in the moments before they revealed it. But you notice the key difference in her Flash symbol is that it's more of a small badge that she wears on her chest, just like Barry does, instead of being the painted lightning bolt that Excess has in the comics. The reason for that is that the Flash symbols, even the old one going back to season one, have technology embedded in them that help them do whatever it is they need to do to take down that villain of the week. Talk to me. What's going on? Cisco! Snort hit me with this cold gun. His vitals are bottoming out. I'm bringing the heat right now. The suit. What's happening? Therma threading, babies. A little something I added for situations exactly like this one. Like during season two when Cisco built the heater into the symbol so that it could melt all of Captain Cold's ice. Just imagine in the future that probably Cisco, if he's still alive, juiced up Iris's costume so that Nora could wear it with future technology. So we'll see if she has any special abilities in that besides the communicator. But for the most part, her abilities work just like Barry's, with the exception that she's probably got a few things that Barry hasn't tried before. So like, oh wow, my daughter's really awesome as the Flash. Look, I never thought to do that before. So here's when we get to the back to the future of it all. One of the fun things about making the season all about Nora is, is that she's sort of the Marty McFly in this Back to the Future situation. So what was the big ticking clock in Back to the Future? Like the indicator of how crap the future was going to be? It was the fading picture of Marty and his brother and sister. Like if he messed the future up, they wouldn't exist anymore. So that was what the stakes were all about. I need to protect my future so that I continue to exist. So one of the fun things about making the season all about Nora is, is that as they try to fix the future, their version of the picture are Barry and Nora themselves. Like, imagine Nora messes something up in the past and something about Barry changes in the future, but then later in the season, they make you really care about Nora. Like, Barry wants to save his daughter, but they do something that changes the future and she is the one that disappears. So Barry has to fight to get his daughter back. So that's what the stakes are all about. Really awesome news is that we got all the trailers coming the next couple of days. First big panel that's happening is Thursday. That's Young Justice Season 3. So whatever they drop online, I will totally do a video for it. I'll name a giveaway winner when I post that too. Click here to learn about Sinister Six in the next big Spider-Man film. And click here for my Aquaman trailer video. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.